What are you doing? Watching TV. Yeah, I see. Don't you think you should be in college right now? Dad, it's 11.30 p.m. at night. Yeah, you know who else said that? Homeless people. Broke. No food. Drug addictions. Dad, I don't think anybody said that. Shut up when I'm talking to you, boy. Dad, I'm just trying to watch Top Gear right now. Okay, let's use your logic for a second. So you're sitting here, 10.45 p.m., Sunday night, watching TV. What do you think happens 30 days from now? Uh, I don't know, another, another day, I guess, whatever 30 days from now is. Wrong. Eventually, the money runs out. What does that mean? It means you can't pay the mortgage. What are you gonna do when you can't pay the mortgage? File bankruptcy and then lose the house? Next thing you know, you're under a bridge, naked, no clothes, no food, no car. Dad, I don't have a mortgage, I live with you. Hold on, I'm getting there. So now, you're homeless, under a bridge, no money. What are you gonna do to make money? I would just apply for a job. That's the thing, you can't get a job. You're dirty, you're homeless. You got a job interview, ain't nobody gonna hire you. You're dirty, you look nasty. So what does that make you do? You start selling your body for sex. Next thing you know, you got other homeless men getting ramen noodles, selling ramen noodles for money to have sex with you. You know what it's like to be homeless under a bridge, having sex with another homeless man who's just as dirty or more dirty than you? No. Do you want to know? Well, of course not, Dad. I just want to watch Top Gear. Let me tell you what's going to happen, boy. All the homeless man sex you got to have for money is going to make you go mentally crazy. So you're going to get depressed. What are you going to do when you get depressed? You're going to turn to drugs, hair run, crack, meth, weed. You're going to be a pothead? No, I don't do drugs, Dad. If you don't go to college, you will. A lot of drugs. All your teeth are going to fall out. You going to get a girlfriend with no teeth? No, nobody does. Do you live in Kentucky? No, you don't? No, Dad, we live in Texas. Who has ever gotten married other than the state of Kentucky with no teeth in their head? Dad, I don't know. Exactly, that's your problem. You don't know shit. That's why I'm here to save you. So what do you do now that you got a drug addiction? You want to steal. You got to provide for your addiction. Next thing you know, you're breaking into sex shops, trying to get whips and chains and shit to sell to your homeless buddies. Because nobody wants a boring sex life, even if you're a homeless man who's dirty as hell. Now, what has your life come to? You're sitting there wondering, what did I do? Why didn't I listen to my dad that one day at 10.45 p.m. on a Sunday night watching Top Gear in a chair? Now, you got to realize, your decisions don't just affect you. They affect me. Now, what happens here, you might ask? I'm going to tell you. Dad, if you want me to go to college, I'll go to college. But just let me finish watching the show, man. That's the thing. You may never finish this show before I perish. You know what happens with all the stress of you being homeless? Your dad gets depression. I die. Little do you know, I didn't die at work. I didn't die anywhere. I died at home. Next thing you know, your little sister's hungry. 9.45 in the morning, goes to get some cereal, goes in the kitchen. Bam! Her daddy's dead. And he's dead because of you. Because you didn't want to go to college. What happens? Now she's depressed. She's got anxiety, depression. What does she do? Turns to drugs. Oh, following in her brother's footstep. Now y'all both under the same bridge smoking the same crack from the same crack pipe. Oh, are you proud? Because I'm not. Dad, that just doesn't sound realistic. It don't sound realistic because I'm dead and you killed me. You know why? You don't want to go to college. So here we go. Four years in your crack addiction. You done sold your booty to everybody under the same bridge. At this point, you went from 135 pounds to 9 pounds. You half dead, anorexic, and you still on drugs. You still in for everything you want. You ain't got no teeth, which is good in your line of work now because you can't bite nobody. And at night, you out walking the streets like a zombie from The Walking Dead. What the fuck?